Welcome to Florida, the land of beautiful cypress swamps, alligators, manatees, dolphins, beautiful beaches, lots of sunshine and warmth, and developers. Lots and lots of developers. The consequences of all of this development is really difficult for my heart to handle. So let's head to the studio where dealing with emotions and difficult things becomes a little bit easier. My connection to the land here in Florida begins about six generations ago with my great 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 grandfather Elijah Green who was given land on the St. Mary's River for fighting the British in South Carolina. Needless to say I've got Florida in my blood and I am so grateful that I got to grow up in a place where Florida is still kind of wild. I got to grow up you know, swimming in beautiful rivers with alligators and manatees and water moccasins and dolphins. I got to run around with muddy toes, getting chased by sand gnats, and always with lots of gulf shrimp on the dinner table. Oh, and let's not forget the absolutely gorgeous freshwater springs. But before I get too caught up in the nostalgia of the good old days, let me get back to my point. You see, the Florida that I know and love is quickly being paved over and crowded out by the Florida that most people think of when they think of Florida. You know, the Disney World, the Miami, the endless shopping plazas. I'm currently living in Central Florida, just outside of Orlando, where the effects of development are nearly impossible to ignore. Every day, it seems new housing developments are going up, new shopping plazas, more roads, wider roads, more trash, more pollution, more cars, and inevitably more wildlife laying dead on the side of the road as their habitat is quickly paved over. It's not hard to put the pieces together when you start seeing daily large wildlife in the streets where there is a lot of development happening in what was not too long ago their safe place. I'm not going to lie, bearing witness to the environmental degradation of this land that I love has contributed to a lot of depression and anxiety. My heart has such a special connection to this place and it has become increasingly difficult to stay and bear witness to the destruction of it. But when I feel something like this, some really difficult emotion, the best way that I know to transform it is for me to make art. And so this piece that I'm creating here is a way for me to process all of the hurt that I feel. This painting is the second in a series of self-portraits that I'm currently working on, and each self-portrait embodies a different archetype. This one is the warrior, as seen through my eyes. In this modern world, when I think of a warrior and when I imagine myself as a warrior, I don't see that traditional image of someone going into a literal battle. In this modern world, the battles that I face are more subtle and more psychological. When I embody the warrior, I feel how much mental strength and physical strength is required to exist in this modern world and not crumble under the weight of it. Through my eyes, a warrior is someone who can face death, cruelty, and violence and still stand tall 
and proud and grounded in the truth of their inner knowing. To me, a warrior is someone who uses their strength not to slay their enemies, not to kill, not to shed more blood, or to create more divide, but rather someone who uses their strength to make art, to uplift others, and to gather community around the things that are important. The modern warrior knows that she must channel anger not into hatred and violence, but rather into creating, inspiring, and teaching. And this is why my version of a warrior is holding a paintbrush rather than a weapon. If you've ever felt wronged, disrespected, or taken advantage of, I'm sure you can attest that it takes a lot more strength to channel that anger into positive change than it does to channel that anger into hateful words and violent acts. This painting represents the strength that I've had to build in making the choice to make art from the pain. In the foreground of the swamp, you can see remnants of trash with almost a ghostly form representing the modern society that leaves its waste without thought of the consequences. I stand there, paintbrush in hand, stepping boldly into the rubbish of the beautiful swamp. Lotus flowers blossom at my feet, representing the beauty and wisdom that it takes to rise from the muck. The paintbrush sits over the lotus, representing the relationship between creativity and its ability to help us rise above muddy waters. If this piece resonates with you and your heart or inspires you in some way, please consider leaving me a donation at the link in the description. Half of your donation will go into land conservation efforts in Florida, and the other half will go to help fund the continuation of this series of archetype paintings. I'm so excited to continue sharing my creative journey with you. Be sure to click subscribe to stay connected, and thank you so much for watching. Sending you so much love and creative inspiration. Until next time.